Oh, it's getting late. Nobody's gonna swipe right in me anyways. I should probably clean up the mess downstairs before I crash for the night. I should finish cleaning before I go back upstairs. I'm not carrying all this shit with my bare hands. I need to find something to put this in. Some old lady I never met just left me this house. <laughs> Talk about winning the lottery. I didn't even know I was playing. No girl is gonna date me with a house this messy. Jesus, I made a damn mess. I should finish cleaning before I go back upstairs. Shit! Jesus! Oh! I need to turn the volume down, I'm gonna get a noise complaint. Feeling all right, Klopshik? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Huh, would you look at that? I guess someone liked what they saw.
so overrated. I guess there's no time like the present. Maybe the keys to those rooms are in the boxes of her stuff in the attic. Well, that's fixed. And nothing happened. Did I miss something? What's this?
way this is real. This is the day she died. I've got to tell Martha about this. Am I really sitting here playing with kids' toys? What now?
using that much power. That was fast. Okay, somebody is definitely fucking with me. Might as well stay busy, though. Not like I'm gonna get any sleep now. <laughs>
so are you going to explain what the hell's going on? Look, I, I appreciate being able to crash on your couch last night, but... Look, I get that this is all really weird, but there are a few things you need to understand. And I promise that it'll all make sense. Or at least it will if you keep an open mind. closet door opened a, well, I, I don't know, a portal? I was looking at an open field from my second floor. My mind is about as open as it's gonna get. Well, I guess the first thing you should know is that uh, this is so hard to say. Well, spit it out then. Okay, okay. Look, I knew you were going to move into that house. I... I've kind of been waiting for you for a few years now. How, How could you possibly have known that? I wasn't stalking you. I've been trying to keep an eye on you. You know, so that you were safe. I knew you'd be moving in yesterday because, well, I know some things about your grandmother. Your whole family, actually. That's some pretty heavy stuff to lay on someone you just met last night. Uh, I know, but just listen. Have you ever wondered why you were adopted? I mean, like, what actually happened to your mom? Or why your dad didn't take you in? Not really. I told that my mom died during childbirth and there was no other family. That was a lie. He did have a family. He had a brother and a sister. And your mom didn't die during childbirth. She was murdered. And she was pregnant with you when it happened. Oh, oh sh shit, are you serious? told you this? It's not like anyone would have told me if it was true. And even if it is, I'm sure the records would have been buried. How did you find this out? I was adopted too. Huh? After the incident, I was injured pretty bad. A shotgun blast at close range will do that. The doctor said that my amnesia was a result of the trauma. And it took most of my life to recover my memory of what happened. Wait. You're saying what I think you're saying. About five years ago, I started to remember things and started searching for answers about what happened. That's when I found out you were alive. That you survived too. No fucking way. This is impossible. Daniel, I... I know it's a lot, but... I'm your sister. No. I... I can't believe that. Well, it's true. I was there. Okay. Okay. Say I choose to believe you. Why did our dad kill my mother and... our brother? It's like a stretch to think he just went nuts one day. Yeah, it's crazy. Unless you know what good old grandma was up to. Best I can piece it together. She was someone pretty high up in a secret society. And whatever cult she was a part of had her brainwash our father into doing it. That doesn't make any sense. What purpose could she or they possibly have had to mind control some guy into killing his family? Well... What little I found out about the cult says that they needed a child to be born from extreme trauma. An act of violence that could force its birth so that the child could act as a vessel for... Well, I really don't know. A vessel for something not good. And that child would have to attain maturity before being of use to them. Yeah, 
You know what today is. My fucking birthday. Oh, my 18th. Bingo. Why do you think you were finally able to move into Grandma's house yesterday? The very day before your 18th birthday? Because they planned on doing whatever they intended as soon as you were... of age. So, how did you stay off Grandma's radar? Really I mean, you live next door. How did she not know? I moved into that house two years ago. By then, I knew there was no way she'd recognize me. You weren't born yet, but the last time she came to visit, I was only a year old. So, when I got the house next to hers, I just kept my head down and avoided her as much as I could. While keeping an eye on everything. Oh man, this is all too much. So, now we're going where? And why are we going to wherever it is that we're going? I was able to track down where our family was supposedly buried. And... Well... There's something I need to see for myself before I know what to do next. Yeah? What's that? I need to know if our dad is buried there too. We're getting close, and I'll get my answers. And yours, real soon. I know this is a lot. Are you okay? Fuck it. I don't know. I always figured something would happen, and my real family would come find me. I just didn't expect it to be. This. Daniel, look out! from where we need to go. Looks like there's a trail over there that we can take to where the gravesite is. Alright. Let's we walk from here. Yeah, it shouldn't be a bad hike. But you go on ahead. I need to grab my bag from the trunk and handle a little something. I'll join you when I'm done. Uh, what? No, we should stick together. Go on, you big baby. I was going to send you on ahead this whole time. I just need to do this one thing really quick. Alone. Fine. Uh, whatever. Just be careful. Call me if you need a hand, I guess. Thanks, but I'll be okay. I promise it won't take long. It'll be worth it. Oh, and one more thing. Holy shit! Martha! A gun? Really? When I first found out about you... I started looking further into the society that Grandma belonged to. I wasn't able to dig up much. But I did find out about a gathering they were having. I managed to find a place to hide and watch. And during the meeting... Well... I stole this. It's some kind of relic for them. Seriously? A relic? It's just a fucking handgun. I know it looks like it's nothing special. But the way they were handling it, it was like they were touching Excalibur or something. I want you to take it, just to be safe. I already took it to a gun range and tested it. It works just like a normal gun. <laughs> You're joking, right? I've never even held a gun before. Just take it. I'll feel better knowing you've got something to defend yourself in case those nut jobs come looking for you. Thanks for letting me keep Plops at your place while we do all this. I barely thought of leaving him in that small fest in the house. I feel so bad moving in there now. Okay. No sweat. As long as he doesn't chew up the furniture, we're all good. No, bro, 
promises on that. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. The graveyard is close by, she says. Alive. If that's what you mean by okay. I just got attacked by a weird finger-faced dog monster. A, a fucking what? No, no, I don't know. I, 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 I can't explain it. But there's something else out of here too. It's like, it's like the whole world is descending into freaky mode, and we've got front row seat tickets. Uh, uh, You're okay though. Yeah. If I could give me that gun, or I would have been monster child. Glad you're okay. Just stay on the path and try to avoid any more encounters if you can. 
I really didn't dress right to go on a hike today. Six, okay. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now.
Raiden! I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. Out in the woods, freezing my balls off, getting hunted by abominations from hell. What a lovely day. Jesus, guess the forestry service hasn't been around to clear this mess yet. I should try a different way. I don't need to worry about it right now.
I go back and try another path. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. I don't need to worry about it right now. Marty, um, I, I, uh, I, I think I'm, I think I'm lost. Are there any landmarks around you? Uh, yeah, I, I just came across this weird, uh, statue. It's a sculpture in the middle of a forest. Oh, yeah, you went the wrong way. Head back to the last play in the trail and go the other way. That should put you back on course. Oh, jeez. That's a long walk. Hey, uh, while I have you on the phone, I have a question. You said you've been keeping an eye on me for a while now. I guess I'm kind of curious how that all happened. I mean, you finally got in touch with me on a dating website. Well, wasn't that kind of weird? You know I was your brother. <laughs> yeah, I also know that you don't do a whole lot of social media. So, it was probably going to be the only way I could approach you without... You know, walking up to you on the street and really freaking you out? Yeah, that makes sense. 
still kind of weird you were hitting on your brother. Don't you think? Hey, those kids from that old space movie worked it out, didn't they? In fact, didn't the sister end up with that hunky space pirate? <laughs> when this is over, we, we are so watching that. Sounds like a plan. Now, get moving, you weirdo. Your is close by, she says. Sounds like I've been out here for hours. I just came across a river. I'm not really sure which way to go from here. You're getting closer. Keep the water on your left side and you'll be there in no time. Nice. Hey, I, I, I know it's kind of out of the blue, but how much do you remember about it? Like that? I, know, I, I guess all this walking got me thinking about stuff. Well, my memory of them is still kind of sketchy. I remember Mom making the most amazing chocolate chip cookies. my brother? Yeah. He was great. Never picked on me or anything. What about that? He always seemed distracted. He seemed so happy at first. But then, he was kind of a drag. He'd sit in front of the TV for hours when he came home, watching the same shows over and over. Over and over. He wouldn't shower or even change his clothes for days on end. Then, the drinking started. He never lashed out at us, but he just... Man, I really didn't dress right to go on a hike today. Oh, I'm sorry, Audie. I shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. You deserve to know. They were your parents, too.
the building. By the swamp? That's the old Snobby house. Kind of a historical marker in the forest. The guy who built it was actually one of the founding members of the cult Grandma was a part of. Oh shit. For secret society, they sure were upfront about being a cult. Not really. They did a great job of keeping most of the members in the dark. They operated like a fraternal order. You know, like a social club. All the really dark shit happened at night behind closed doors. And only a select few were in on it. Called themselves the Inner Circle. Not much for cool club names, huh? No kidding. Anyways, this guy Nobi was notorious in the area. After he built his house, a lot of kids went missing in the surrounding woods. And the locals suspected him, but couldn't ever pin anything on him. Didn't help that he was essentially a hermit. He would only ever talk to other members of the inner circle. And even there, he was a fringe element. His biggest claim to fame was the symbol that the cult adopted. You've probably seen them hanging from trees along the way. Those rich stick things? Yeah, I've seen a few. Yeah. Some old room that represents oh, okay. their god or whatever. Though so I couldn't find any references to it when I was researching everything.
emanations from hell. What a lovely day.
that's this.
Martha, how much longer are you going to keep me waiting in this stump? Just a sec. Look, I really appreciate that you're going through all this trouble for my birthday, but I'm seriously bored just standing around out here. Relax, it's almost ready. I swear that you've got me out here just a little bit. Dude, chill out, man. Just call me when you find the graveyard. Okay, I'll keep looking around. 